Monday morning, 19th of uh, September 2022. And this morning I thought I'll come out the hotel, Lanzarote Princess in Playa Blanca, and just do a right and walk, not down to the beach, but down through the uh, part of the town itself where people do their shopping and such like, I guess. It's, uh, there's some, it's a busy bit down here and then it goes into a pedestrian shopping centre. And uh, there's Diane walking with me this morning. And um, we'll walk back along the coast, which runs parallel to this road. As you can, yeah, a bit cloudy this morning. Still very, very mild. And I'm sure the sun will break through a little bit later. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the coastline there, and there's a ri as I've done in previous videos, there's a lovely walkway along there. Um, but this runs more or less parallel. It just shows that it is the busier part of the town, isn't it? Not so much the holiday maker part of the town. Little church over there. Still get the odd bars. Hang on. But uh, definitely the what I call a working part of the town. Uh, no, no, no. It's only just nine o'clock, Diane. Things won't open up yet. But even, but even down this part, you still get a selection of shops and a few bars and the odd restaurants, but not, uh, not a pretty place like, like along the coastline. Little sculpture there of a working man in his boat. Um, fairly big spa down here. And now, as you can see, this is the working part of the town, really. Now we're coming into a pedestrianised uh, shopping area. Obviously some refurbishment work going on there. <laughs> I don't know what time the shops open. I tend to do my... <clears throat> I tend to do my walking earliest before it gets too hot. But uh, I see some of the shops people are starting to get things out now. But this runs parallel to the coast. And at the end here, you could go down to the harbour or um, walk along the coast, whatever. Looks like there's a, another road with shops in up there. Not that I'm particularly interested, but um, we're just going to walk down this bit. And then we're going to go back down onto the, the pretty area by the coast. As you can see, we're not very far, far from the sea there. Just a... Uh, a few yards up and there's plenty of little ways to get down by the time you get to the end here you're almost at the harbour and um, we're going to walk down onto the coast and walk back I won't be videoing that because I've videoed it before uh, you can see the harbour wall down there it's uh, only a short street this one um, I guess most of the shops don't open till 10, maybe 11 in the morning, but you've got boutique shops. And from, it, from the spa shop on, there's another supermarket and uh, yeah, some posh little boutique shops. And uh, that's about it really. Yeah. I suppose, to be honest, this is the quickest route to the harbour, isn't it? Out of the hotel, down this road, rather than going straight down to the oh, coastline and walking yeah. along. Yeah. And that's uh, coming up to the end of the street here now. So there's a few offices and that is along this part. So, yeah, it's the working part. And as you can see, the, the harbour's down there. Yeah, so if you're coming from the Lanzarote Princess, I think it would probably come out the hotel, turn right, and just follow the road straight well, down. Good job of that. And uh, here you are. That's where you'll get the ferry across to Fuerteventura. And um, you can follow this walkway all the way along to the lighthouse. Or you can go left here and walk all the way along to the 
Marina Rubicon. Once you come down onto this uh, lovely walkway, as I say, you can walk miles, you can walk all the way along to Rubicon Marina um, and beyond, probably to, I think it's to Papagaya. And um, the shops don't make it pretty to me. <laughs> and uh, that way you can walk along. As you go further, it's more luxury yeah, hotels and eventually comes up to the lighthouse at the corner of the island and uh, opposite not that you can see it at the moment it's Fertaventura I said all that in my couple of previous holiday videos and that concludes my little video for this Thank morning goodness. that's all you you're the one that started it by wanting to watch them on YouTube yeah. uh, they're just their holiday vids and that's fine This sculpture is dedicated to the generations of Canarians, our ancestors, most of them illiterate, who through their dedication and motivation encouraged their children to improve their education and resources, which has consequently promoted the development of the towns and boosted our current level of well-being. This is why the face in this image is anonymous, resembling a figure somewhere in between hyper-realism and expressionism. Uh, sculptor Chano Navarro Batanur. And that is it now for this video. It's just that I hadn't bothered to read that when I walked past yesterday, so I thought out of interest I would, and I like what I read, hence me reading it onto this video. Looks like I lied again. I thought just just watch the old um, Fred Olsen ferry reversing back into the into the harbour. That's enough.